Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you a newly released product from vKernel and it's called the vKernel Analyzer. The complete operation should uh, comes as a virtual appliance. The only difference with normal virtual appliances is that it is unpacked and then you will get some VMDK files and a VMX file you have to use the converter to transfer those files into your vSphere environment. But once you have converted the files into your environment, you have a nice new virtual appliance running and after powering on this virtual appliance, it will present a URL uh, and this URL can be used to log on to the vKernel operations. So let's try to log on to vKernel operations and let's fire off uh, the Firefox from Mozilla. It can also you can also use the Internet Explorer, but in my experience, Firefox was a little bit faster. And I only have to type in the URL of the virtual appliance. I already configured it and connected it to my vCenter server. And when you are logging on, you can do two things. You can use a local user database, but you can also uh, attach it to Active Directory. So the default username and password are vkernel vkernel and once you have logged on to this virtual appliance uh, you are landing on the vops dashboard and the vops dashboard will show you all the impor important stuff that's going on in your vSphere environment. So in this case my vCenter server has some storage things. Maybe uh, let's take a look at it. And yeah, you see CPU, memory, bottlenecks, uh, everything is uh, nicely presented at the VOPS dashboards. But what's new in this release is the performance analyzer. And the performance analyzer enables you to, uh, to identify root causes of your virtual machines. But also, if there is a possibility, you can take action. And in this case, for instance, I have a Windows 7 virtual machine running and the CPU of this virtual machine is above the 95% and it's already uh, for 1.1 hour. And the recommendation is to add an additional CPU to this virtual machine. And there's also a button. And when I click the button, uh, I can increase the CPU from 1 to 2 with a recommended CPU count. That's pretty awesome. And there are some other problems presented as well. So we have real-time alarms. There are also thread alarms available in the performance analyzer. And uh, you can read out all the vCenter alarms because the performance analyzer is in constant uh, communication contact with your vCenter server. And it will show you the vCenter alarms. It will show you the, cor the current bottlenecks that are uh, also presented in the dashboard. So this is the list of the current bottlenecks. Okay, that's pretty cool. And you can do it uh, as an overview or detailed by CPU, memory, storage, throughput, or even latency for your storage. It's always interesting to look at the latency. Okay, that's cool. So uh, after you have uh, find your way in this uh, virtual appliance. You have to create your reports. And you can do it by creating a PDF file, but also by uh, creating XML or send out an email or schedule reports or create some real cool resource graphs. Uh, the performance analyzer is new in this management pack, but there is also a capacity manager and the capacity manager is running in the same virtual appliance and this is the place where you can do your capacity management. The optimizer is also included and the optimizer is real cool because the optimizer is able to suggest what you could do to earn some money. In my case, I can earn over $18,000 by just lowering some values like memory or disk or whatever. So I didn't pay so much money for my uh, for my little test environment, but I want to save some money in the end. So uh, I'm going to look at 
at it later this afternoon. There's reporting and chargeback. And reporting and chargeback uh, can be done through putting in some values, and then you can uh, then, then you can charge back to your organization or different parts of your organization. At the left side, we have the complete inventory. It's just like the inventory in vCenter. And you can browse through it, and you see you will see your resource pools and your virtual machines up and running. And after selecting an individual virtual machine, it will automatically open on the right side where all the details of the virtual machine are presented. So in this case, uh, we see that the Windows 7 machine has one CPU, and we see how big the disk is, we see how big it's on the data store, and every detail about this virtual machine can be found back on individual virtual machine basis. But the new kit on the block is vCenter, uh, is the performance analyzer, and the performance analyzer uh, does a good job, and what I find especially interesting is that you can also solve problems through this cool appliance. Okay, Eric Sloof is signing off. Uh, you can download a 30-day trial version at the vkernel.com website and then you can give it a spin. Bye-bye.